India has been taken over by an extremist authoritarian regime headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi since May 2014. Attempts are on to cover up the extreme degradation of the country and its democratic institutions under Modi to ensure that the international community as well as the Indian diaspora in the U.S. keep the focus away from all that is wrong in the country. Right-wing Hindu groups in the U.S. supporting Modi are not only infiltrating U.S. politics at every level, including the Congress and the Senate, they are also striving to gain acceptance from the Hindu culture to keep up of the facade of all is well. As a born Hindu myself, living in the U.S., I feel compelled to reveal the larger game plan of not just the Indian government under Modi, but also its supporters here in the U.S. Prime Minister Modi is a product of the RSS, a right-wing paramilitary group inspired by the Nazis. The international wing of the RSS, the HSS, and its allies, including the World Hindu Council of America, Hindu American Foundation, Hindu Students Council, operating in several uni U.S. universities supposedly to celebrate Hindu culture, are doing exactly the opposite. Modi and his ministers are using Hinduism to spread extreme hate against the minorities, whether it's Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, or Dalits. The hate is being perpetrated to enable his government to get away with mass-scale corruption and looting. Fifty million Indians have been pushed into poverty since the COVID crisis, and the Modi government has no answer for them. Modi and his supporters propagate the Hindutva philosophy, which is nothing but saffron terror group not related to Hinduism at all. Modi supporters who have lived in the USA for decades are pushing the radical Hindutva agenda aggressively in every state and city in the U.S. not endorsed by most Hindus, uh, especially in all, all Indians a majority of them Hindus. The U.S. needs to wake up to the prospect of harboring Hindutva without being aware of it.